All right, today we're going to be talking about web accessibility and you might be wondering why. Well, because the European Web Accessibility Act is coming into effect on the 28th of June this year and we need to be prepared. And also because Elementor has released a plugin that is going to help us with web accessibility, which is called Ally. And also because we are humans and we are web designers and as web designers and web developers we have the responsibility to lead with empathy and sympathy towards the 16 percent of the global population that has a disability we owe it to the society i guess to develop websites that are accessible to everyone so let's get into it let's see what ally has to offer okay so we are on the landing page of the Ally plugin. I want to call it Ally, Ally for whatever reason, I don't know. Anyway, so Ally is a web accessibility plugin that works, by the way, works with any WordPress website, not only with Elementor. So if you have a different builder on WordPress, you can still install Ally and it's gonna work. So that is a plus, right? All right, so you can get it for free, but let's just go through um, some of these facts here. As I said earlier, 16% of global population has a disability. 3%, this is crazy, 3% of the websites found to be accessible only. I have no idea how many websites there are on the internet, but 3% is a very, very small amount. And you can read through all this information here as all laid out, what you need to do, why you need to do it, appealing to your human part, not only as a web designer, understand why you have to do this, not because it's legally required, but also because let's face it, everyone has the right to access websites, right? Anyway, so you can generate an accessibility statement with this uh, plugin, which is fantastic. We're going to go through that. We're going to generate one and we're going to go through that on my website that is still in work. It's work in progress, but there's a page there. That we can see if it's accessible or see what we can do anyway. So why you need the accessibility uh, statement, why ally, et cetera, et cetera. You can go over all this by yourself. I will leave a link in the description below. And let's go a little bit over the roadmap because the, the plugin is still work in progress, but phase one, uh, we have access to the usability widget and accessibility statement. As I said, this is the cur current stage. And then we have the phase two accessibility scanner, which is fantastic. It's going to scan your website and it's going to tell you where the issues are, as you can see here, right? Fantastic. I love that. And I cannot wait to, for that to come into effect. I think it's going to be such a game changer for people like me, web designers like me, who have no clue about accessibility and I don't feel like I could get into it because it's so much. Right. So let's go to phase three. This is the remediation flow. Again, it's coming soon. And this is a step by step guide to fixing the accessibility gaps with, with prompts. So they will have AI integrated with this plugin. So with prompts and questions to help users understand and address the issues manually and automatically. OK, I'm really curious about this, seriously. And then future phases, continuous improvements based on accessibility best practices. So, of course, this plugin, like any other plugin, will be improved and worked on to get better over time. All right, so you can start your path to accessibility by downloading the Ally plugin. And that's what we are going to do now. All right, so let's go and add a new plugin and I'm going to look for Ali, 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 <laughs> Ali. All right, activate. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the plugin is right here. You will have access at all times on the left hand side in your dashboard under settings. And let's improve your site accessibility. Okay, so it's fully customizable feature management and control accessibility statement generator for fantastic let's go and get started and it's going to connect it to my website to my uh, account my elementor account i'm gonna approve and connect all right and it's done fantastic so now uh we have the ability and the option to work on design capability statement and analytics this is a paid feature as you can see this 
find here shows you that this is a feature all right let's start working on the design okay so let's go to my website and let's see how it looks uh what colors do we have what do we need i think i'm gonna go with this orange maybe as you can see right now it's uh blue and i want it to match my website okay so i'm gonna go with this orange i don't remember what color it is exactly like i don't remember the hex but i'm gonna grab it from here let me just go to color picker and this is the code i'm gonna copy it and uh, let's go back in the um, our back end and you can change the color right here yeah boom okay i am curious if we can change or if this will be possible in the future to change the color of the icon as well what happens then huh. okay so okay so it's accessible they say that this way it's accessible as well okay all right so i'm gonna drop it in here and what happens if i change this to a different color uh -huh. the icon itself is accessible it's readable yeah for example if i want it to be black which i might leave it in black actually it's the the icon or the text on it changes to white corner radius we can also change this if we want but i want it round so okay now we can decide where we want the button to be on the page yeah so you can hide it on desktop but i don't think that is advisable right so basically right now we have it as you've seen we have it on the right hand side of the website on the bottom right but maybe i want to move it somewhere else maybe i want to move it to the bottom left let's see if that has taken it effect no so i need to uh basically save the changes for this to take effect i'm gonna just leave it where it is because on the other side i have some text and i don't want it to interact so exact position okay you can actually really go even deeper and change the the positioning with pixels and all that um but i'm not gonna do that so you can also do that on mobile usually elements of this kind are at the bottom right on uh, mobile as well so i will save the changes so far let's go to capabilities and as you can see this is the this is how it will look so as you click on the button itself on the just refresh this no it didn't take effect that's strange so if you click on this you have access to all these elements right so now you can either disable or enable some of them yeah for now i'm gonna leave everything on i'm also going to leave the sitemap on so we can see how it actually looks when we click on them because that's the point right and this is also a very cool feature which is a premium feature but it's very good for people with disability because the screen reader reads out loud what is on the page and yeah i think this um it's worth upgrading for and we have the statement here yes i need one no i already have one okay so let's say we don't have one i say yes i need one but we're gonna come back to this in a moment after we have gone through all the features like literally on the website all right so analytics so you can discover how visitors use your widget this is also very important because you can tweak it to to make it so that people interact better i guess so with this accessibility statement you uh, basically commit and officially commit to an accessible site we're gonna go through the plans as well but in a bit but for now i want to go to see how this plugin works all right so as you can see we have it here i'm gonna click on it and we have this panel that pops up so we can make the text bigger which is working great let's make the line height bigger so you know when for example you build a website that is for um, an architect or interior designer or whatever and you use all this little text little tiny text and it's not really accessible to everyone i even have sometimes issues reading that kind of text but it's beautiful and then if you install this kind of plugin this is going to be very useful because you can still build that kind of website but you also uh, offer the option for people with accessibility issues 
to use the website by increasing the text size uh, and using the line height, you know, make it bigger, more readable, etc. So I think this is honestly, it's a very good plugin. Yeah, I've never used one, but I was actually thinking of getting one for one of my clients in view of the upcoming, uh, you know, Accessibility Act. All right, so let's see the text align. So the text aligns left, yeah, and align right. Okay, so only some text aligns. <laughs> I don't know how this works exactly. So we have the left align and the right align. Okay, interesting. Let's see here down. Okay, that's it. Is a line there? A readable font. Okay, it changes the font. I guess this is like a default kind of font that it uses that is supposed to be accessible. I assume then grayscale. Okay, so we turned off the lights. <laughs> Yeah, boom. All right, so if we have the grayscale on and dark contrast on, light contrast, high contrast. So we have, first of all, dark contrast, then light contrast. Yeah, let's see. But the white text does not read. Light contrast and high contrast. Hmm, okay. And the white text actually, I think the this is uh, an SVG if I remember correctly. I don't remember actually. I have to check. So this is an SVG, so maybe it doesn't work on SVGs. Interesting. Anyway, uh, let me disable some things. Let's go back to, actually, let's refresh. Let's, yeah, reset the settings. So we're back to the original, I think. This is the original. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know. So you see what I mean? The text is so small. I even have sometimes issues with reading this. <laughs> All right, so the reading mask, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's very interesting. <laughs> I might even use this because it keeps me focused on the page. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it's pretty cool. And in order to disable this, you have to actually go and click again on it, like with everything else. Uh, we can also hide images. So oh, it seems like that was an image that I had on the page. So it hides images. Yeah, that's the only image I had on the page. And poses animations. I don't have animations, but for example, if you have a, a website that is fully loaded with GSAP or other animations, you know, some people have issues like motion sickness or something like that. And this is amazing to for them to use and highlight links. All right, because this is a link, it's highlighted. Let's see what else. And we have a link here and all these are links. Yeah. And if we turn the grayscale on, the links are still highlighted, but of course they are in grayscale uh, contrast. When we have the contrast on, the links are not highlighted anymore. I don't know. Is this supposed to be like this? I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, you don't have to have everything turned on, right? I assume. Anyway, overall, so far, I'm very impressed. I think this is a great addition to any website. All right, now we can go to generate an accessibility statement that we are going to be adding to the website. So let's go to uh, the back end. Yeah, we're in the back end of the plugin in the dashboard. I go to the statement and yes, I need one because I don't have one. Continue and we can put here the name of our business, the website, which is this. Yeah. And contact at studio Egli. and as you can see as you type in it fills in all the information here including uh, the date that when the statement has been generated and you can update this at any time if need be so let's create a statement and a page as you can see it has added a link to the accessibility statement page on the pop-up itself and you can either hide the link if you don't want it to have it there maybe you can you want to add it somewhere else let's save the changes and 
let's go to see where we have or how it looks the the page so first of all i'm gonna go and have a look on the website itself and let's refresh and there we are accessibility statement all right so if i click on it it's going to look like this weird okay yeah this link is not um clickable let's go to see where this page is on our website so this is where it is okay it's not uh, an elementor page because as i said earlier this is, this plugin is supposed to work with any wordpress website so it has created a page in gutenberg so you can edit this the way you want you can have more space you can do whatever you want to make it uh, your own yeah and i would add more space because you've seen it looked a little weird and if you're using a word uh, an elementor website you can just copy this statement and add it to a page that then you can link to the statement as you have seen you can go to uh the plugin go to to the statement and you can choose which page to link so if you have a link a page that you have created specifically for that that is not auto created you can link that page and make it nice right i'm sure you want to see how much this plugin costs all right so let's go to see uh, our options so these are the plans that uh, they offer at the moment we are on the free plan yeah and as you can see it covers one one website activation 10,000 visits per month. So the number of times your accessibility widget has loaded for unique visitors this month. So it's clear you can upgrade if you're nearing your monthly limit. I assume they're not going to tell you uh, that you've reached the monthly limit. I don't know how this will work. I'm really curious. Uh, you have 15 plus features included. Customized styling, accessibility statement, scan and monitor. So scan and monitor and scanner will be included once they have been released as features, uh, which is fantastic, I think. Uh, you can see a centralized panel displaying detected accessibility issues uh, their severity and actions that you can take and scan and monitor regularly scans your website to detect accessibility issues and tracks changes over time fantastic i love it and this remediation flow which is also very important is not included and uh, other other features but you can update to or upgrade to the standard if you want i think i think it's not bad keep in mind that this takes time to perfect over time i would say it it requires a lot of knowledge and time is money so if you think that way uh you taking your time to sit and learn accessibility right now to catch up i on honestly i prefer to pay some money and get that off my plate and focus on what I think I'm best at than uh, getting into accessibility. We cannot do all the things, right? We cannot have all the hats in the studio. And why not leave this to the professionals, right? So in this case, it's a plugin. I, for one, I think it's fantastic. I will be using it i will be testing it and i will tell you guys how i feel about it but for now i think it's a great tool and as you can see elementor is using the plugin themselves look at it here right awesome let's go to see their accessibility statement let's see what they're saying as you can see they made it super nice because they're using elementor right uh they last updated on april 10 and it works how fantastic is that highlight links how cool is that? I love it. I think this is pretty, pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you are going to be using it, I mean, first of all, it's free. Why not use it? Try and test it. You don't have to pay for it. You get quite a lot for the zero money that you're paying. And it's it makes your life easier. And the users that you are building the websites for or your client. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you have used it and what do you think about it, honestly. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.